Hi, this is a screencast for the uh, Canary release component of the uh, third milestone. So, um, the Canary release part can be done in one of many ways uh, using the current software pipeline that we built. Um, so, we have a Jenkins server that has a Canary launcher job that basically um, does the runs the ASL script for um, spinning up a EC2 instance and installing the Canary version of the checkbox.io application. So the uh, the checkbox.io application that uh, the modified one that we've been using has a Canary branch to which um, the latest changes are pushed and this code is used for um, installing the Canary version on EC2. So, uh, yes, this Canary uh, launch or release can be done in multiple ways, either from inside of uh, the uh, Ubuntu uh, master server, which is which is this one right here, which is uh, the Jenkins, the, the feature flag server, and also the uh, server that runs the infrastructure process. Um, so much, so this can be run in much the same way as the normal checkbox or application or uh, for convenience sake we have created this dashboard and we've added um, a launch canary button so this will in turn trigger this canary launch job and uh, yeah so so that will spin up a canary so let's go ahead and do that now and yes so a canary is being spun up so pretty soon you'll be seeing this job getting scheduled and getting executed yes so it started now so let's take a look at what is inside of the job so yeah it's at its heart it's it's uh, just a shell script that runs the ansible playbook for installing checkbox.io uh, but it takes in a, a couple of parameters one being the uh, name of the instance that's given to the um, EC2 instances that run checkbox.io, the Canary version of it, uh, and of course the name of the branch from which the Git cloning will have to take place. And it also has a bunch of environment variables um, that need to be set, which are passed in using this file, which contains all the environment variables with, that includes all the uh, AWS keys and uh, application ID. So let's take a look at the console right now. Okay, and this is my uh, infrastructure service. As you can see, uh, it only the, the the load balancer for now knows only about the the regular checkbox IO instances and not the Canary instance. Not yet because it probably hasn't finished installing yet. So let's take a look at the output of the answer script that's running. Yeah, so this might look like it could take a while. Um, so the uh, the load balancer right now would be routing requests to only the regular versions of of checkbox and not the Canary version. Yeah, so that's because the Canary version isn't up yet. Um, yeah, all right. So the Canary version also needs to be shut down in case, not shut down, but the traffic has to be diverted away from the Canary uh, version when an alert is raised. And the way that we've uh, implemented this sort of alert is through the use of a counter. So what happens is, so there's a there's a request counter that we use. Yep, right here. So um, for every for every ninth request, um, the canary sends back a response with a error code with with a status code of 500. And when the infrastructure um, process sees that it's a 500, it kills the it 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 routes all traffic away from 
uh, the canary instances so that's how um, an alert is raised so how would we differentiate okay so right now the canary is now running so the load balancer should route a portion of the traffic to the canary and the way that we know that uh, it's a canary is is through a small modification that I made so the IP address of this is uh, it ends with 101 so let's see how that works okay first up it has taken me to the canary instance and it should route me to the other ones now okay it has taken me to the canary again all right so up until this point everything's cool with the canary goes to 30 28 30 again so i guess the count for canary has actually reached if that's the case not here i guess so let's give that one more shot yeah so yep the canary is still alive no problems i guess out of the canary again so about 40 percent of the traffic um gets routed to the canary all right 30. Okay, it goes back to the canary again. The canary is still running. Alright. Goes to a regular instance now. Goes to the canary again. Okay. Okay, it goes to the canary again okay so now uh, the canary has raised an alert with the status code 500 and the infrastructure uh, process is no longer going to route to the canary instance again because it just raised an alert yep, so no matter how many times we try the request is going to be balanced between the two regular checkbox instances So the canary is no longer being routed to and uh, in case we want to turn back the canary on again so what we can do is we just turn on this toggle for the canary cluster which we have sort of implemented we have used the uh, feature flag server for it and so yes all right the canary has been revived and let's try on it again so some portion of the traffic is being routed to the canary again because we turned um, the canary on and so this process will repeat and at a point the canary will in fact die because of the uh, of the modification that we've done yep. still alive all right now the canary is dead so routing goes back to the uh, regular versions of checkbox that's it